Anunnaki Rebellion. This story, described in the Sumerian tablets, begins when only the gods inhabited the earth, when the gods like men went to work and endured hard labor. The labor of the gods was great, the work hard and the misery immense. At that time the men deities distributed power among themselves. Seven cities were established with seven Anunnaki as their commanders. The seven great Anunnaki put the lesser gods to work. Anu, father of the Anunnaki, was their celestial king. Their supreme judge was the warrior Enlil. Their chief commander Ninurta and their steward was Enugi. The gods shook hands, cast lots and settled the division. Anu to heaven ascended, he left the earth to his subjects. The seas were given to Enki, the prince. Mining was the most common job and the most hated. Some gods dredged rivers to make them navigable, dug irrigation canals and dug in the oceans to pluck minerals from the earth. For 40 periods the Anunnaki worked and then they cried enough. They complained, they slandered their superiors. They were grumbling in the excavations. Seizing the opportunity, the Anunnaki to each other said, Let's meet with our superior to relieve us from our hard work. Let us take courage from the king of the gods, the hero Enlil in his quarters. Now we will declare war, agree on a plan of action and fight. The gods listened to him carefully and after preparations they approached the door of the hero Enlil. It was the middle of the night vigil, his house was surrounded. Kalkal was a guard then. He opened the door and watched. He woke Nasku, then Nasku woke up his master. Lord, the battle is at your door. At first, Enlil took up arms to deal with the rebels, but Nasku, his advisor, ordered a council of gods to be called. Send a message for Anu to descend and call Enki to you. He sent a message and Anu descended. Enki was brought to him as well. Believing that the rebellion was aimed at him, Enki demanded an explanation. Who is the warmonger here? Nusku asked. Each of the gods has declared war. We have our lives in excavations. Working too hard kills us. Our work is hard. Our misery is great. When Enlil heard the report of the complaints, he burst into tears. Anu, who descended from heaven, sided with the Anunnaki. What do we accuse them of? Their work was hard. Their misery was great. Every day, the lament was huge. We could hear grievance. At these words, Enki also opened his mouth. Let's create a Lulu, a primitive worker. Let him bear the yoke. Let him bear the labor of the gods. This suggestion was gladly accepted. The mother of the gods, described as Mami, was called. Together with Enki, who has the skill in his hands, formed a man. EA helped make the potion. Bird goddess were present. While the magic words were spoken continuously, the mother goddess continued her work. Then she exclaimed triumphantly, I created, my hands did it. And she called for Anunnaki, the great gods, speaking to them. You gave me a task, I did it. I took the burden of your labor off. I put it on the worker man. You demanded a kind of worker. I broke your yoke. I gave you freedom. The Sumerian texts describe this event was taking place exactly 40 periods after the arrival of the Anunnaki on Earth. One period was one year compute in time on the planet Nibiru, which is 3600 Earth years. After these 40 periods, which is 144,000 years, the Anunnaki created men from the already existing Homo erectus on the planet. They implanted in him their own image creating him in their likeness. This took place 300,000 years ago. This story was told in Sumerian tablets that are almost 6,000 years old. They were found in year 1929 in today's Iraq. In year 1976 it was written down by Zaharia Sitchin in his Earth Chronicles book series. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And see you next time!